Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to One Six Scale. We are currently in the living room of the mini mansion and that's a dollhouse that I just finished renovating. I just finished uh, the complete renovation in my last video. And this is the living room and I really like the colors of lavender and pink. And it's more of a summer color and now we're into fall. So I wanted to um, transform this living room into fall. And I have three DIYs that you can do to uh, change your living room from summer to fall. The first DIY is a planter and this one has fall flowers, yellow, brown, and orange. And then the second DIY is a lamp because I want to put a lamp over there on that side table beside the couch. And then the third DIY is a fall picture for the wall. To make the planter, start with a votive holder and to cover it, we're gonna use some jute twine. I found this at the dollar store. Place a layer of glue at the very bottom of the holder and then place your jute twine on top of the glue. And when that first layer of glue is completely dry, start wrapping the jute twine around the votive holder and then continue wrapping, pushing the uh, twine together to prevent gapping. And then when you get to the very top of the votive holder, Place one layer of glue at the top and then glue your last layer of twine at the top. And then continue uh, wrapping the twine back down the votive holder. We're going to have two layers of the twine. And then when you get to the very bottom, place one more layer of glue and then glue the very last layer onto the votive holder. Take some wet floral foam and cut it into some small squares and place it into the votive holder. And I put a little bit of water in there just to pack it all down. And I found these fake flowers at the dollar store and they have plastic stems, but there's some wire inside. So I'm gonna cut them with some wire cutters. Place the flowers into the foam and you can place them any way you like. Basically you're making a flower arrangement. And then when you have it the way you want it, take some gravel and put it on top of the green foam just to cover it up. And there's your completed fall flower floral arrangement. Next we're going to make the lamp and you can make a smaller one with two beads and then you can make a taller one with three beads. The lamp is made out of wood. For the base of the lamp I have these circular wooden discs and for this part of the lamp I have these little wooden beads. Start with the wooden base and there's a little hole inside of this one and I have a piece of dowel and I cut a piece just uh, the, the height of the three beads. I'm going to place it down inside that dowel and if you don't have a hole you can just take the dowel and you can glue it on top of the wood. Next place the beads over top of the wooden dowel gluing each bead one on top of the other. Next we're going to paint the lamp and I'm using some silver acrylic metallic paint. Paint the entire lamp, the base and the beads and it usually takes about two coats for full coverage. Now the paint is fully dry and the next step is to make a lampshade. To make the lampshade, I'm going to use these LED lights that I found at a dollar store. And this is what they look like and they have a little fake candle on the top and their little plastic disc. And they have a little activator on the bottom so you have to pull that out. And then you can turn on the candle and then it lights up. To make the lampshade, use a piece of white computer paper and cut a rectangle that is five and a half inches wide and one and a half inches long. Place some glue on the short end of the rectangle and then flip it over and then place some more glue across the long part of the rectangle. And then place the paper around the votive. And to finish, glue the lampshade on top of the lamp. This is the completed lamp with three beads and then you can also make it with two beads. You can paint the lamps any color and this one I painted the beads black and I painted the base silver. This is what the lamp looks like on a table beside a chair. And then I also made this lamp and it's 13 beads high and I thought this would make a perfect floor lamp. This is the last DIY and it's a fall picture for the wall and to make it I use this canvas that I found at the Dollar Tree and the size of it is 4 inches by 6 inches. For the picture on the canvas I'm going to use this craft paper that I found at the dollar store and it has a lot of really nice outdoor nature scenes. And then going to make two pictures for the dollhouse. I'm going to use this sunflower pattern for the living room and this leaf pattern for the bedroom. I'm going to paint a border around the edge of the canvas and to paint the border I'm going to use some black acrylic paint. Paint all of the edges of the canvas and then on the flat part paint a small border on the inside of the canvas. When the paint is completely dry cut out a picture that is the size of the canvas and then place some glue on the back of the picture and then place your picture on top of the canvas. 
There is a completed picture of sunflowers and then I also made this picture of some fall leaves. The DIYs are all complete and now we're ready to transform this room from summer to fall. And the first thing we're going to do is remove everything from the room except for the bookshelf and a couple of the pictures on the wall. changed from spring to fall and we used three DIYs, the planter, the picture on the wall, and the lamp. And I also used some things that I found at the dollar store and the thrift stores. I also made some DIYs for the room and I made these little fall books from cardstock and then a little vase. You can get these little containers at any dollar store with little flowers. And I also made this TV stand and I used a storage container that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I also made some dressers. I have a video on my channel if you want to know how to make the TV stands and the dressers. And this is the floor lamp that we made for the tutorial. And this is how it looks beside the chair. I hope you enjoyed this video and you give these three DIYs a try. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.